Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. Have you ever felt like you are stuck while learning coding? Don't worry, everyone faces this step in their career. So I will help you out how to not stuck while learning coding. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now before we start this video, if you are enjoying the content then like this video and subscribe to my channel for the awesome new videos. You can also join my channel by clicking on the join button below to get the awesome behind the scene contents. So click on the join button below and support me. Now I will share you 5 tips that will help you to not stuck while you are learning coding. And if you stay till the end, I'll give you a bonus tip as well. So the first tip that I want to give you is don't memorize stuffs. So while you are learning coding, I see people that they try to memorize the code. But that's not the way that you should learning the code. If you're in the college or if you're in the school, if you're memorizing something, if you're memorizing your history classes or if you're memorizing your science diagrams or anything, that's fine. I'm not here to debate about it. But to write the code, to learn writing the code, it's not about memorizing it. It's about knowing the process. It's about developing the thinking about the solution. So you should be able to think about the solution you should be able to understand how you're going to store the data how you're going to process through it how you're going to iterate through it that all things matters so try to learn all those stuffs if you are having any problem if you're going through any of the problem try to understand like what is the problem how i can iterate through how i can break down this particular problem that is more important thing rather than memorizing it the next tip i want to give you is learn one thing at a time i have seen many developers or many freshers they will try to learn many things at a time i have also done the same mistake when i was a fresher i was also trying to learn many things at a time so it ended up very badly it will take a lot more of your time to learn the things which are very easily because you are trying to focus on many things rather than focusing on one thing so try to focus on one thing at a time if you're trying to understand one of the things try to understand the basic of it try to understand how that particular thing works and and then once you have the basic understanding of it if you are okay with that like you are ready to move on then go to the next topic until then focus on one thing at a time suppose if you are trying to focus on learning flexbox in css then learn that flexbox learn how to create different properties and all the things for that and then try to move on with the other topic the next tip i want to give you is follow the road map don't just learn stuffs randomly i also make the same mistakes in the past i'll try to learn dot net one day i'll try to learn javascript one day i'll try to learn css other day but that's not the case that you should do. Try to learn one thing at a time. As I suggested in the previous point, try to learn one thing at a time. With that, try to learn with a roadmap. You should be having your roadmap ready like what all things you want to learn. If you want to learn JavaScript, if you want to learn CSS, HTML, if you want to be a full stack developer or you want to become a Java developer or you want to learn Spring Boot or you want to learn DevOps, anything. There are a lot of videos available and there are a lot of content creators and a lot of tutors available. Those have created a roadmap for you guys. So follow those roadmaps and follow those tutorials. So it will help you a lot to get you started and follow the path because they've already gone through those phase and based on that they have created a path for everyone. So follow those paths and if you follow those paths it will be very easy for you to understand everything because for you it will be a natural thing right because if you learn one thing and after that if you learn another thing you will be having the context what was earlier so that context also helps a lot for learning. So try to follow the roadmap. I have also created a roadmap for Java if you want to be a Java developer then check that video as well. I will be creating the roadmaps for different topics as well so subscribe to the channel for those videos as well the next tip i want to give you is don't be just a passive learner be an active learner every day keep a fixed amount of time like 15 minutes or 30 minutes to learn any new things this will help you to advance your career because in the market there is a new thing every day so you have to keep up with it don't get overwhelmed with a lot of things available but try to improve on try to learn a basic things because 15 minutes or 30 minutes a day if you sum up for the one month or one year there is a lot of hours that you have invested in and if you invest something you will get a return so try to invest 15 minutes 30 minutes of your active time and at that particular time just try to focus on learning new things and learn with a proper roadmap as well so be an active learner the next thing i want to tell you is don't fall in a tutorial hell because there, there are a lot of tutorials available i have also a lot of tutorials in my channel there are a lot of other creators there are a lot of 
other tutorials on the other platform as well so don't just fall in the tutorial hell so what will happen is you will try to go through a lot of tutorials and you will try to buy a lot of courses and you will learn a lot of stuff you will go through all the courses and everything but you are just going through all the courses and that's the thing you are not learning anything because you are not implementing it so don't fall in the tutorial hell i'm not saying tutorials are bad tutorials are the easiest way to get started for any of the technologies because when you are beginner going through the documentation is very painful i know that i have gone through that so if you go through the tutorial you will get a basic of it and after you have got the basic knowledge and after that if you go through the documentation it will help you a lot so don't just think like if you have gone through the tutorial then you will be able to understand everything you have to build stuff so that's the next bonus point right you have to build stuff you have to prepare different projects you have to work on it if you learn anything you have to implement it implementation is the best way to learn new things so suppose if you learn javascript try to create a project in javascript if you learn css try to build a website if you are learning html try to create a simple web page try to add css on it try to add the javascript on it to make it a dynamic website so learning new things and implementing those things in your existing project or your new project will help you a lot to understand that technology very deeply because building stuffs building different projects will give you a lot of exposure because there will be a lot of issues that you will face while building stuffs because when you're going through the tutorial you will just follow that particular tutorial and everything will work as it was working with for the tutor but when you are building on your own you will get a new issues you will get a new exceptions like if you have learned one version of angular or one version of java and you are implementing the same with the newer version or the other versions then there will be a lot of differences available you will get to understand those differences you will get to understand how the migration happens how to migrate to different versions so there are a lot of things and lot of improvements that you can come across and lot of issues that you can come across when you try to build those things and when you build that will be a key point because when you're doing your job that is the thing that you will face a lot so try to build the projects so if you're trying to follow all these particular tips i don't feel you will get a feeling that you are stuck at any of the particular point because i'm telling you all of this from my personal experience i have followed these things and it helped me a lot so it will help you a lot as well and if you have any tips that will help the community then do share in the comment section below i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial so give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos Click on the join button to join the channel and support me. I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Bye-bye.